You can park a UAZ in this manner near the door and climb the door to directly reach the balcony of the squad house. Surprise your enemy and kill them easily. Containers present towards the right of Novo in this manner. You could also go in here and wait for your enemies to kill them easily. If you spot an enemy in the small room of this house, jump over this railing and climb here. Now jump out of the window and kill your enemy in this manner. If an enemy is camping on the top floor of this building, come to the balcony and jump over this railing. Now climb over the roof. Once you're above the roof, Position yourself like this and jump horizontally to land over here. Surprise your enemy from behind and kill them. After the new update, footprint marks and vehicle tire marks have been added to Vikendi. Whenever you see these marks, be careful as it suggests that someone's near you. Stay alert and kill your enemy. If you're in Novo, you can jump over the fence in this manner and climb the container like this. Now jump over here to get a clear view of your surroundings. If an enemy follows you while you're about to take a boat, Go near your drowned vehicle and tap the Get In button. You can throw a nade towards your enemy while seated inside your vehicle. And boom! A secret cave has been added to Vikendi after the new update. There are three separate entrances to the cave at these three spots, but each one is covered with rocks. The only way to uncover these hidden entrances is to drive a vehicle or throw a grenade. It has lots of loot inside, so make sure to check this location out the next time you play Vikendi. Two secret spots near the Milta factory. Number one, climb over this grill and jump over here to hide yourself. Number two, jump over here and walk along these railings. Now hide yourself here to take advantage over your enemies. If you want to pick a grenade while playing a TDM, go close to the container. Now turn around and jump. Tap quickly to get the grenade. Never climb over the container to take the grenade as you could be killed easily. In a death match, you can tap here to check the stats of both the teams. As soon as you enter a TDM, quickly go towards the center and pick up the M249 and walk back towards your spawn area. As soon as you reach the spawn area, drop the gun. Make sure to do it before the timer ends. Now, as soon as the match starts, go pick up the gun from there. You can climb this tower in Novo like this and jump over here to hide yourself. As soon as the enemy comes near you, stand and shoot. There are four melee weapons in the game, namely the pan, sickle, crowbar, and the machete. Let's see their damages. Getting hit on the head with no helmet, with level 1 helmet, level 2, and level 3. Getting hit on the body with no vest, with level 1 vest, level 2, and level 3. You can crouch near the stairs of the squad house and move towards this wall to see through it. Once you know your enemy's position, go and kill them easily. While gliding, when you press the unfollow button, you often lag behind your teammates by a short distance. Here's a trick to solve it. Just move your cursor in the forward direction and then click on the unfollow button. This time you won't lag behind. Now let's talk about grips. Vertical grip. It's the best all-around grip. Useful for short and medium range sprays. Also very useful for single tap weapons. Angled grip. 
One of the best grips for long sprays, not recommended for short sprays. Thumb grip. It does very negligible recoil control, but helps in quick scoping. Half grip. Best for long range sprays, not recommended for short sprays or for single tap weapons. Light grip. Best for single tap weapons. It's also useful for close range, not recommended for long range sprays. Laser sight. It's basically not a grip. It just helps in reducing the hip fire spread. Now, let's understand the sensitivity setting. Number one, free look camera sensitivity. It's basically the sensitivity of the eye button over here. Number two, camera sensitivity. It's basically the sensitivity of your screen movement. Number three, ADS sensitivity. It's basically the sensitivity during fire. Number four, gyroscope sensitivity. It's basically the tilt sensitivity which works when you tilt your device. Here's a fun tip. Drown a vehicle into water. Press the exit button and then tap get in. Now switch your guns and try tapping on the shoot button while switching. The bullets won't go past the water. You could do this to surprise your teammates.